Right, so today we had the most outrageous finish I think I've seen in cycling for some time. Obviously in Tour of Colombia they got some mental ones, but in Europe slash Asia, this is pretty wild. And um, yeah, so the climb was Babadag. It was 18 kilometers at 10.3%, but like most of it, uh, if we look at this, is well over 15%. This last part averaged 14%, 14.5% for 2K here. So V Grim, uh, Lutschenko won, Zvihov to harder. Shout out to Max, big result from him. Probably did get caught out on the descent, which was a bit of oil, but we'll go into that. Apparently old Finn Fisher Black decided uh, no risk, no glory on the descent was not his motto. Jay Vine, I am too good for top 10s in, you know, in the Grand Tours. We're working for the wins. Uh, 25th at Tour of Turkey is pretty big, man. So I'd chat less. And uh, yeah, anyway, I was seeing in the chat. I like the chat. I like when Simon Yates said, you know, everyone should be uh, terrified of me. But, you know, you've got to back it up. And it's sad when they don't. Anyway, the headline stat, six watts per kilo for an hour and seven. Ben Sweeoff did about... 3A something again I reckon he will be a similar weight and then before all of you go oh it's Shimano Pell meters uh he's 62 um okay but they're, they're not gonna be that far off are they I mean you know we're talking 1600 van which obviously looks ridiculous but it's because it's so steep uh almost you know 11 average for 18k that's why the van is so wild they went up almost 2000 meters basically from sea level uh so yeah very very interesting climb uh, and yeah, it's pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. Uh, what's interesting though, if you actually look at the peak power, the peak 10 minute came halfway up uh, for both these guys. They both did about 390, 400 watts. You can see there's some bigger accelerations here. This is really when Alexis Guerin got caught. He went early doors, very early doors. And again, you can see there's some big accelerations, but actually towards the top, everyone died. Uh, Zvioff did three, like for this very last section, which was grim, 3K at 12%. He averaged... 390 watts so you can see slightly less than maybe oh no sorry that's actually more he didn't blow up actually as much as other people did um the bit where his numbers were a little bit lower were just before um a bit more cagey but to be honest it was pretty consistent even if you look at the first bit here 380 watts like it's basically just like 380 watts six watts per kilo so as soon as guys on the front were doing slightly more maybe not even though because it's just so steep but you can see like um yeah they're doing around uh this first bit here um again slightly harder for Tejada 386 but again it's not wildly harder um but yeah what was kind of interesting was this descent um it was really where a lot of people there were big gaps that occurred you can see like Victor Langolotti 918 J Vine 934 um if we look more we might be able to see more weather splits work as max you can see 942 so that's actually quite a lot of loss of time. And then obviously they then went full at the bottom. So it's a bit of a shame that that happened. You can see quite a lot. Like if you look at the results, that also happened to Dowett as well. Another legend of the 2.2 scene uh, terrorized me a lot in many races. Um, and also I think Badalati got caught out as well. And maybe Zando Marisa. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, that is kind of the level. Um, we look at the old KJs before the race before the climb uh actually quite a hard stage to be honest um you know 2200 kilojoules but we look at the normalized power 293 this climb was not insignificant um you know 330 normal uh, 330 normalized again that's like 5.3 for half an hour um then this descent i reckon was mega stressful although the normalized is 250 you can see there's a lot of sprints and stuff and I reckon this bit here, again, was not actually that pleasant going into it. Again, like 290 knot watts, but you can see it's pretty spiky. So again, not not the easiest run into it. Um, and then, yeah, just big thing. But you can see the peak power um, it was 308 watts average for three hours, which is almost five watts per kilo for three hours average. <laughs> like that's bonkers, isn't it? And that is, yeah, pretty impressive. So I assume Tejada would be pretty similar on that front. Um, Again, you can see Tejada's here. He hit 941. He was doing big efforts. You can see heart rates, you know, up to 160. Again, his was like here doing 311, slightly less watts than Zwiehoff. Um, But again, three hours, you know, not far off five watts per kilo for three hours, which is 
very very impressive and you can see this bit here they're doing 186 we look at this bit here you know for this kind of long effort we're, we're talking 330 for two and two hours which is which is real crazy um so yeah anyway big numbers uh not unexpected because i don't think i had the hardest stage race um beforehand but anyway cheers for watching i hope you did enjoy and i'll see you in the next one